What's up guys, welcome back. Today we've got another uh, loaned in knife from my buddy John. And this is a DSK for Dan Sullivan knives. Um, this is the GF2 model. And it's the first uh, DSK that I've actually handled. I've seen a lot of different ones, I've talked to him before. Um, was on the list to get one and then timing didn't work out. And um, so I ended up like passing on my spot. And uh, um, at some point I may or may not um, get one, have him make me one. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but let's dive into this one because this one's pretty cool. Um, close length of four and five eighths inches. Overall length of eight and three eighths. The blade is 3.5, uh, six two, and the edge is 3.4. It is CPM 154 steel, so that's awesome. And it's really thick. <laughs> um, yeah, this is 0.273 inch thick blade. Comes in at 7.7 .7 ounces. But the overall thickness is just 0.629. Uh, and partially, and that's minus the clip, and that's partially because the scales are fairly thin compared to the blade. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit more too. And it runs on bearings, so it's super smooth. It just, yeah, it's drop shut. And you can finger flick it, you can thumb flick it, it just fires every time. Um, and you're using the hole in the blade, not the stop pins. The stop pins are not thumb studs. Yeah, it just doesn't, I mean, you can kind of get it, but it just doesn't quite have the angle. But right here in the thumb hole, you're good to go. It feels really good in the hand. This particular one has a really nice uh, Timascus clip. I love that little pop of color to a, you know, standard looking, just overbuilt knife. I really like the blade shape and the way he's done the grinding. You can actually, you know, kind of feel the texture of those grind marks, which I like. I really like the swedge on top. I think that came out really nice. You can see the DSK and the T. I'm not 100% sure what the T is for, uh, but the handle, you know, it does have a big cutout and I think that's a lot for some aesthetics and for lightening of the scales. Really well done pocket clip. It is a little tight to get in and out of the pocket. I'm not going to lie. There is flex on the on it, but not a lot because it's just, it's really a short clip. It, for me personally, I would like a little more material taken out just so it slides in and out a little bit easier. Now this, you're probably thinking looks familiar the overall look and feel. It looks like another maker's. And yeah, you're right. It looks very similar to a Medford. It's not. Now, Dan used to work for Greg early on and he left and started his own company. But they are totally different. But again, you see some styling cues maybe or some overall look and feel, but at the same point, it's a knife. Every knife kind of looks similar. So I don't have a rub with that. One issue I have on this knife, and we'll see if we can show it. It's probably not gonna come up on video very well, but here in the handle, you can see the edge of the blade there towards the back, right in here past my finger is the heel of the blade. Now, because this is such a thick blade, 
the blade stock, there's a chance that you, you know, the opening is so big that maybe you get your hand in there in your pocket. Straight on, I can, if I push in really hard, I can feel the edge of the blade. If I were to run my hand down, I don't know what would happen. I don't think it would cut, but if you went in at an, you know, sideways with your finger, for sure, I would slice my finger open. On really big, thick knives like this, I prefer that they have a, a big backspacer as opposed to just studs. Personal preference, I have sliced my finger open really good on a uh, fat daddy. I was just, I had my hand in my pocket. I was, you know, fumbling with my knife, like just my own fault, I guess, but it sliced my pinky really bad because there's just so much room in the back of the fat daddy. So now I'm super conscious of that. That will never happen again because I've learned, don't ever like, don't. But now I'm kind of critical about that on knives that have big, thick blades. And this one in particular, the reason why it's so thin, which I do like, is because the scales are so thin, but it's almost kind of like an optical illusion to me. It kind of plays with my mind because I'm so used to other makers that have a thick blade and thick scales. So this one almost looks a little misproportioned to me. And it's not, it works really well. The lockup is, is absolutely fantastic. Super smooth action. It's not going to fail. It feels fantastic in the hand. I mean, I, I really like this knife. It's just in my mind, the scales should be thicker to be more portion, proportionate with the blade. Again, that's in my mind. I don't think that's a reality. That's a, that's a Dirk's mental problem thing. So do a couple size comparisons so I don't just ramble forever here. Uh, with the Sharpie, uh, how about the large Sabenza 21, almost exactly the same size just obviously thicker, but still very similar in height. Um, what else? Oh, I just got this in today. This is a FIF 23, FIF 23, which is a little longer. It's got a much bigger blade, a, a longer blade, no doubt. Um, front flipper, this came in, uh, I did an unboxing video earlier today on it but this one is mine, uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, Normal Blades, Spider Codelica. So there you have it, guys. I think that, you know, this DSK is pretty awesome. Thanks, John, so much for sending it in. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, the thing that really kind of pops on this is the Timascus clip. I absolutely love that. I wish for me personally, it was, you know, kind of ground down a little bit more to give a little more room to slide in and out of my jeans. And maybe it's just my jeans. You may have no problem on your pants. That's, you know, uh, for me, it's important. And somebody commented before on one of my videos that I did where I said the, the pocket clip kind of sucked on the uh, little mofo the trouble blades that John also sent in, which is back on the other table behind me. Um, somebody commented, well, dude, just, you know, adjust the clip. It, it's going to be different for everybody. And I get that, but that's fine if I'm not wearing normal pants. I'm wearing normal jeans and they don't slide in and out. The, the trouble blades, it just does not work. It flat out doesn't work. So that's not okay. If it works in jeans, but it doesn't work in my big heavy overalls that I wear when I go out and work in the oil field or the you know fire suit that I have when I was racing 
um, off-road racing and I have a fire suit and that pocket is thicker than normal jeans, yeah, okay, I'll adjust the clip for that or for my overalls or for my cold weather gear or, you know, for some specialty clothing, I will adjust the clip. Or I will have it custom made if it's a, you know, a, a milled titanium clip that you can't just bend out a little bit. I get that. For specialty clothing, I don't expect it to work on every, the pocket clip to work on every piece of specialty clothing. But a normal set of jeans, I do expect the pocket clip to work. And if a maker is making a custom blade and it doesn't fit in the pocket, they shouldn't send it out. This fits in the pocket. It's just tight for me. My personal taste, this is too tight. So this is not a knock on this one. Okay. The trouble blades, yeah, it don't fit. It's, it doesn't work. It flat out doesn't work. And that's a problem with that knife. If you're going to be making knives, especially by hand, and shipping them one by one by one, you as a maker should stick it in your jean pocket and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, make it work on your jeans before you ship it to the customer. That's just my two cent rant on pocket clips. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I greatly, I'll leave you with that. <clears throat> but let me know in the, in the comments down below, what is your thought on pocket clips? Am I the nut that should just shut up and you know spend a thousand dollars on a knife and then have to adjust my own clip? I don't know. Maybe that's a whole different topic I should do. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks, John, for loaning this in. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next one.